Hello tubers, tubettes, the ever-expanding circle of crazy people. I'm here with my old friend, and your friend by now, John Harper. And we thought it was time uh, that we do a little update. Since so many people have been asking so many questions. Uh, instead of trying to individually answer everybody, I thought I'd just talk with John. There's going to be ambient noise. We're sitting outside. We can't find a quiet place to do this. And in fact, I don't think there is a quiet place in the Philippines. No. No. Other than the morgue at night. No. Yeah. So, John, in your own words, if you will, how are you doing? Since the last time we talked. Well, 100, 1,000 percent better. Um, I mean, I, I'm doing well. Um, my health has is, is, is certainly improved. My mind has certainly improved. Um, I'm putting putting weight on. Uh, the kids are doing absolutely fantastic. You know, every, they, they went to the hospital, as everybody probably knows by now. Can you give us a little information on what happened with the girls? Well, we went we went to the went to Diana and I went to the to the doctor down at Holy Child there, and and uh, the doctor told us that the kids needed to be admitted immediately because they had double pneumonia. So that's pretty much what happened. And, we went through all of the, all of the, uh, what, how can I say it, all the medicines and, and everything else. I mean, it, it, were they on, weren't they on like breathing treatments or something? Yeah, they were on, on uh, breathing, breathing treatments, antibiotics, and uh, vitamins and things that I couldn't find in the, in the drug stores. I had they changed to, their formula too. Joint changed the formula from... Yeah. From something that was rather inexpensive to something that was super expensive, and we bought bottles for them, new bottles. Okay. We sterilized, sterilized the bottles all, you know, over and over again, and and uh, mostly on, on the doctor's advice. So uh, they were there about eight days or so. And how are they doing today? They're 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 great, Paul. <laughs> I, mean, I haven't seen them. I've been, we're just met up. For they're coffee. they're so happy. I mean. I mean, Mara. I mean, I think she's going to be a superhero. She's she's standing. She's not even crawling. And how old are the girls? Uh, four and a half months or four so. Four and a half months. So I think it's been almost a month since we last chatted. Okay. And I've kind of been holding off on doing anything else because let some time go on, and you know, let you do what you're doing. And so there's been a lot of changes between the last time we talked and today. Oh, there's a lots and lots of changes. The, the first, I guess, you know, if I go back to step one, uh, they took me out of the barangay and I went to a... Hold on one second. We had a trike race going by here, so... They, okay. They took me out of the barangay um, and I went to a hotel for, for I don't know... Two Maybe weeks. Four or five days or so, and then we ended up in the hospital. So. Oh, that's true. And then since then, I've, I've, uh, we, we have, I have an apartment, and uh, Diana's living with, with me and the kids, and, uh, you know, she's super happy, I'm super happy, so, I mean, you know, that, that's about it. You know, and you've got some other big news, too. Oh, I have work. I'm now working. I'm no longer a, a, a welfare <laughs> recipient, so to say, so to speak. I start the job, well, actually, I actually started the job, but um, um, it's, I have to take a bus to get there and a bus to get back. It's a, the people are, are absolutely fantastic. You know, I, the, the team leader asked me to, to go ahead and meet some people, and before I knew it, within five minutes, I... All the people came over, were introducing themselves, helping me with the work, showing me what to do. Um, and and, and I'm, I'm really super happy. I'm very, very grateful for, for having a job. And I think that was, was, I don't know if you did that on your own or was that through the support group? Oh, that was, I did that on my own. Okay. Yeah, that was, on, that was something that I, that I did. Uh, actually, actually, Diana used to work for these guys uh -huh. as, as, uh, uh, at, 
at home worker, uh-huh. and I walked down to where the where the where their headquarters was, and I, I went in and said, "Hi, I'm I'm John, and I'm looking for a job." And and they put me to the team leader, and he did a short interview with me, and he he, he liked liked what he saw and liked what he heard, and and I'm probably the first foreigner that's that's working for them. <laughs> I get a lot of looks when I go in there because they're like, "Hey, what's this guy doing here?" But these guys are, 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 aren't, aren't like that at all. The, the people who work there are, are, are tremendous, tremendous, tremendous. I'm very lucky to have, have them. And there's no issues with you being a foreigner here working there because it's an American-based company? Yeah, there, there's, there's, there's no issues for me to have a, a visa or anything like that. Okay. And it's not a high-paying job? No, it's, it's, well, I can tell you it's, it's, it's about... Uh, I can make anywhere from from ten to twenty thousand pesos a month. That's two hundred to four hundred dollars a month. Yeah, and so I think that while that's a good start, um, that's probably not enough to cover everything. No. But it's certainly something to help stop the bleeding. Yes. And there's nothing saying that you can't progress. There's always uh, Cambly, like we've talked about, and stuff like that. So I don't know. Um, I just say if you keep moving forward. And and putting forth the effort and not settling that you never know what might happen. I mean, did you envision yourself to be doing what you're doing two months ago, three months ago? No, they didn't respond. I mean, you know, the guy said he would respond to me. He sent a message to Human Resources, and I never heard from him. For, was that at Cambly? No, this was at the, the other the oh, the job. Oh, the I, new job. The okay. new job, yeah. And I hadn't heard from him for almost six weeks. So I just wrote it off. I was like, okay, you know, Filipinos don't want to be con- confrontational at all. So, so I said, well, he's just blowing me off. And then I went home one night, one day, and I looked at my email and the spam, and there, there was, there was the, the, the emails from from the HR, and I had to scramble. There was a meeting in two hours that I needed to be there, you know, on, on my on, uh, on my laptop at home, and um, well, actually it's Diana's laptop. But anyway, so and that's how, how I ended up getting the job. Cool. Um, oh, the other things though, yeah. though, there's there, there's the Camly that I that I put in for, and there's also I made a video for that, an like introductory video, and answered the questions and everything. And then there's the um, you know the U.S. Embassy, you know that that has many many job postings that I, that I'm also want to get into. And I also there's there's a some guys from the group. Uh, put me in charge. Put me in touch with uh, Up Up Group, which is in the, or what, Up Work, Up, Up Work, work in, okay. in the U.S. Which I'm also have. I have my resume. They they looked at my resume and 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 vetted that out and everything. So I'm ready to to do all of all of these these things. So compared to how you were three months ago when I first talked to you, I think it's been two or three months. I don't even remember. How are you doing today? One one thousand percent better, and that's thanks to you, Paul. Well, no, I think it's thanks to the community, and I think that today we were having coffee with uh, two other guys, and these are guys that Rike helped set up, which is part of the Rike's part of the community, and these guys have been reaching out to you and talking to you and giving you advice, giving you encouragement, um, buying you a pizza here and there to take home to Diana, yes. so you have a little treat every now and then. Um, you've got a roof over your head. Um, you've got formula for the babies. You've got air conditioning, internet, which will help you work, and um, refrigeration. I mean, it's not a big, luxurious place. I've been in there, but it is everything I just mentioned. It's shelter. It's 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 temperature controlled. Uh, you've got a refrigerator. You've got a sink. You do your cooking at home. Yes. You've been a real miser with the the money, the funds that you have. A good guardian. You're a good good steward of the of the funds. So I'm very happy about that. Um, the babies are healthy. How's the relationship going with you and Diana? And you don't have to get into any particulars. I just, you know, and if you don't want to answer that, that's fine too. Well, I, I, I think I've said before, when, when Diana's not in the barangay, she's a, she's a different person. Okay. And um, she still has her, her, her Tompo episodes, which, which is, is, is uh, common for having a Filipina girlfriend, I guess. I mean, you're not going to get around that. I mean, uh, you know, there's guys in the in the group who, or in the, who tell me that that his wife in the U.S. is 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 acting exactly like Diana is. Okay. So I mean, I mean, a Filipina is a Filipina, and they're going to have these issues. So, 
but other than that, I mean, I mean, she's uh, she's a great mother. She's she's uh, taking care of the kids. You know, she's washing clothes. She's cooking. Uh, she's supporting, helping me support support my work and everything. So, no, it's it's doing really really well. Do you see a long term future there? Or is it is it too new to rate? Is it too early for me to ask that question? Uh, I. I I don't know yet. Paul. Okay, that's a fair answer. I, I, I that's don't, a fair I don't answer. know yet. You know, I mean, I mean, we, we need to get to, to continue um, getting past these 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 topo issue, issues and and, um, and and getting on a on a good a good good standing. A hundred percent of not a hundred percent, but fifty percent of the comments that I've received, and I've just perused some of the comments. There was over seven thousand or eight thousand or something on the videos that we've done previously. Um, but the majority of those, the negative comments, if you want to call them that, or maybe they're just realistic, they say Diana's going to split as soon as the money dries up. Do you concur with that? Do you agree with that? Do you agree that's the why she's with you? In other words, is that the motivation to be with you? Or is it the motivation uh, to make an improvement for her kids? Or do you not know? I, I really, I really can't answer that right now. All Fair I know is that, is that, is that, the good Diana is the good Diana. You know, when she goes home, you know, to to, to, to see her family and stuff, that's when we get we get we get problems. Yeah. So you know, we we need to, to stop this this stuff with her family all the time. Okay. And as far as your work, I think it's healthy. Number one, just for your self-esteem that you're working. Number two, you're taking a bus to and from work, right? Yeah, yeah. And we're not going to say where he's working at because he's, he's signed like a th agreement with them and um, that's that. But um, I think that gives an opportunity for you to leave the house for how, how many hours do you work? I don't know. It's uh, two, to, two to nine. Okay, so there's seven hours plus you've got another hour or two travel time, yeah, right? Yeah, so that's... All right, so you got about 11 hours there. Yeah. And that gives her a break from you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and that gives you a break from her. And it kind of sounds like a regular old American setup, right? Yeah. Where you get up in the morning, you know, yeah. brush your teeth, you have breakfast, you say you kiss the kids, yes. you wave goodbye, and you hop on the bus or the subway yes. or the car or whatever, and you go to work. Not supporting And the then family. you come home. And you're the breadwinner, which yes. is healthy, you know? Yes. And uh, like I said, it's, it's important. I was thinking, I know it would drive me buggy, um, and I don't think May and I have had more than three fights the entire time we've been together, but just to be locked up, not locked up, but cooped up, if you will, in a room with one other person all the time, yeah, will yeah. we'll make you nuts, you know? Yeah. I mean, it's just, you need some, some air, you need some moment alone. So I think that's healthy as far as the relationship goes. Um, I think that the kids are gonna be the permanent glue between you and Diana whether you guys stay together or not. So, you know, my hope and prayer is that either way that it goes is that the two of you can reach some sort of fair middle ground with each other. Should you decide to stay together, awesome. Should you decide to go separate ways, that's fine. Uh, might be healthier for you, might be healthier for her. Um, but as long as the kids are getting equal opportunity to be with their parents, both their parents. Yeah, you know, like, like I said, you know, the kids going going back to that barangay is a real big problem for me. Mm -hmm. I don't know what will happen to the kids. Yeah, I would agree that it's much more sanitary conditions where you're at now. I haven't been to the barangay and laid eyes on it, but um, that's about it. So anything else you want to tell the folks? It looks like you've gained some weight. Yes. Uh, the girls have gotten healthy. Yes, um, they're doing great. When the uh, formula crisis hit in America, I requested that you go out and stock up on I formula. did, I did. I bought... Uh, it was me overreacting. I had. I bought six kilos worth, worth of formula, plus I still had two kilos. So yeah, that's right. a big thing. All right. So you got, you got to work, um, you got the kids. The kids are progressing nicely. You and Diana are kind of hanging out and and you having your like any other couple I suppose you having your good days and your bad days yeah yeah that's what I tried to explain to Diane I says you know you know we were living together you know so you know we're gonna have have some unpleasant conversations that you might not like or something like that and 
and um, I mean that, that that's what happens in a in a, in a, in a relationship. So those are, have been things are going. We have about about two good weeks of, of uh, no problems at all, none at all, and then we have you know a couple days of, of the uh, you know the the the, the tampo business and. and uh, so if we can get, and I think to that. be fair to Diana, you're not guiltless in all this too. I'm imagining no. you get in your moods, you get a little yeah. pissed off now and then sure. at this and that. You get fed up, you get tired, you get hungry, yeah. you get annoyed, mm -hmm. and you know you might say some unkind or unpleasant things. I have. None of us are, uh, yeah. are, are walking on water. Yeah, I'm here. not blameless. <laughs> you know? I'm, not, I'm not blameless. So, you know. Um, so at the end of the day, is there anything else you'd like to update the kids about? As far as it's been about a month since we last talked. Well, all I can do is say thank you so much for everything that everybody has done for me. And I'm doing the best I can to, to live up to my part of the bargain. What about the uh, one last question I kind of skipped? What about the community of guys that's been set up where you've been able to kind of process questions with them, meet up with them like we did today? Uh, what kind of effect has that had on your mental state? 100%. Yeah. I mean, I'm 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 around people that are, well, my own kind. I'm not in in a barangay where where people don't speak the language and 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 the chismus is 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 is, is crazy. And uh, once I'm taken out of there, I mean, the group has been tremendous, and I I'm not afraid to ask questions or or to give updates or anything like that. And and these guys are are, are very experienced in what they do. They're older guys. And they will, they will tell me exactly the way it is, and it really makes a, a, a huge, huge difference for me. Yeah, I've seen a big difference in you also, just in your cognitive abilities. In other words, processing information, being able to make decisions, rational decisions. Yeah. Um, just your general attitude. You're smiling a lot more. Uh, you're laughing and joking around with the guys. So there's a lot to be said about you know, interacting with people on a positive level, people that do support you. You find out that there is good in the world, that there are nice yeah. people in the world, as opposed to being in some kind of swamp, if you will, yeah. you know, negativity and gossip and all that noise. Well, I must admit, I was a little skeptical at first, you know, reaching out to these guys in the group, and then as, as, as the time went on, and you, you, you helped me with that. You said, look, you need, you need to give a little more updates, you need to be a little bit more open, and, and I started doing that. And I started to trust these guys. Yeah, I give them like a weekly ass chewing. <laughs> <laughs> but I really, yeah, yeah. He does, he does. Hopefully those will get a few more, few, few and far between also. <laughs> They're soft. <laughs> <laughs> but but these, these guys are, are I, I, re I really, really trust them with, 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 yeah. with anything that I have to say. They, they, they've said to me over and over again, we're here to support you. And we're your friend, and whatever things you decide to do, or what are decisions you should make, we're here. Wow, that I've never had that before, and yeah. that makes it makes me with a big hop in my step when I go walking. Yeah, you know, I think that uh, for the guys watching at home, they may be in a similar situation as you. Maybe not a financial morass or abyss that they're in, but they might be in a mental abyss. You know, they might be in a in a, in a loneliness abyss. They might be in that conflict abyss. And um, I think that what you do is, as far as contributing is that you're showing that change can happen. You know, you, uh, there's a guy that can be literally homeless and down and just by being candid and honest and relating your story that the community can pull together uh, in a positive way. You're definitely not living the life of Riley or anything, you know, um, but it can have that positive effect. And hopefully it gives hope to the guy that's in the position you were in two or three months ago. I hope so. I you hope know? so because because having a support, having guys who, who, who are there for you, who, who message you just out of the blue or call you, video call you to say, hey, how's it going? I just wanted to see how you're doing. Man, that, that, is, that is just... A worth its weight in gold to have have a support system like that. Yeah, that's worth a lot more than money, huh? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Look at this. Yeah. Lights up. One hundred percent. Yes.
So I don't know. I guess if, if I was to offer a word out there about all this is if you're at home right now, wherever that might be, um, and you're feeling low or down or whatever, um, maybe get involved. You know, do like John did and go ahead and reach out and join something. Uh, become part of something instead of just kind of wallowing in misery, uh, which is what you were doing. Yes. Okay. And then with a little encouragement and with a little kickstart, a little kick in the ass, we did get you out of there. And uh, uh, the good news is you took the ball and ran with it. So um, we'll do another update, I guess, in another month or so. Um, and as long as people are interested in hearing about it, I guess we should let them know what's going okay. on. Okay. All right. All right, skids. Well, thanks for watching. Thank you, uh, everybody. I know there, yeah, I know there's a lot of noise and nonsense going on, but thanks for bearing with us. Anything else? That's all. All right. Well, John said that's all, so that must be all. We'll see you in the next video. <laughs>